Reporting an OWL monitor, Hagar Hosni reports that research showed that King Ramses III had deployed several missions to extract copper from a neighboring country and recorded this on a papyrus from that era. This neighboring country is believed to be Saudi Arabia. Wait till you hear this. Once the trade route is unveiled, a lot of information regarding its use during historical eras will be coming our way. There are many other regions found on the trade route that link the two countries and excavations will be carried out in these regions to find new evidence of Egyptian kings who sent missions to Saudi Arabia more than 3,000 years ago with an important group of scarabs found in Saudi Arabia having come from Egypt. The inscription includes a cartouche of King Ramses III the last king of Ramses who ruled Egypt between 1192 and 1160 BC, which confirms the existence of a commercial relationship between the two countries at that time. The commission said that Saudi archaeologists conducted a field and desk research that led them to conclude that there is a direct trade route linking the Nile Valley with Tama in northwestern Saudi Arabia that was used during the reign of Pharaoh Ramses III. Egyptian convoys would travel by this road to buy valuable goods in Tema, which was famous for its incense, copper, gold, and silver. Saudi Arabia, one of the countries of the Arabian Peninsula, is located in Asia to the east of the Arab Republic of Egypt, and the two countries are separated by the Red Sea. This is the first time that an Egyptian mission digs for pharaonic antiquities in Saudi Arabia, as the missions that were previously deployed there were mainly foreign. He pointed out that the excavations will take place at two sites, one of them near the coast and another near the area where the cartouche belonging to Ramses III was found, the Tama region. Tama is considered one of the most important archaeological sites in Saudi Arabia and the Arabian Peninsula in general, and includes antiquities dating back more than 85,000 years. It was traditionally a commercial and economic hub and a melting pot for the ancient trade routes. An exciting development in the discovery of the ancient past, but what do you guys think about this one anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. Introducing channel memberships for the Lost History Channel. As YouTube continues to suppress our channel, we thought we would explore alternative revenue portals and the memberships could be a crucial tool for our survival on the platform. Become a member of the Lost History channel and unlock access to membership-only perks like badges, emoji, and other aspects of the channel that doesn't always make it into production. Here we can share updates with our members and show little snippets of our pre-produced content before it goes public. Join one of our preloaded tiers and show your support for the channel that refuses to go away. With your support, the journey continues. Now, wait till you hear this.